So we're here to support the inauguration of Governor DeSantis as he takes the swearing in ceremony to become uh, the governor of Florida today at 11 o'clock. Just very proud of our Florida National Guard. Uh, the Air National Guard has really stepped up to the plate over the past uh, year with uh, Hurricane Michael and all of our overseas missions. So it's, uh, it's a great day to be here in uh, Tallahassee to uh, support uh, the inauguration. You know, we work for the governor and uh, we're here to fully support uh, this transition and it's a very historic day for the Florida National Guard. At new commander comes new vision and uh, new, new ideas and you know the National Guard will continue to be the continuity that we provide for the citizens. We, we have a state and federal mission and we will continue to provide that but uh, we will also provide and support the governor in his mission and in, um, in his vision of, um, of his term as governor. Uh, the Florida National Guard is a joint force, so we have with us today Army uh, personnel. We have ceremonial support here with our 13th Army Band. We also have artillery support with the 2 and the 116th that will perform the gun salute. And we have a flyover with our Florida Air National Guard 125th Fighter Wing flying over F-15s uh, right after the, uh, the swearing-in ceremony. So we have a total involvement of our Florida National Guard force today. We, we are a uh, state militia and our commander in chief is our governor. So we are here to support Governor Scott as he goes out and to take care of Governor uh, DeSantis as he moves in. In my experience, it's service before self because we are the National Guard. And most recently with the Hurricane Michael response, we came together and it is a joint effort to support citizens of our fine state of Florida. Personally, it's an honor to serve in the National Guard. The men and women of both the Army and the Air do a phenomenal job and we're just proud to be part of that team and I'm very thankful for their service and sacrifice. What this means is, is a significant change in the organizational structure because we have a new Commander-in-Chief of the Florida National Guard. New direction, new vision. Our base mission is still the same and that's to support the citizens of the state of Florida during any type of uh, civil disturbance and or natural disaster or whatever the governor says we need to go do. Uh, but it's a new governor, new direction, new mission and purpose. We have the 13th Army Band is here supporting this event and they support all of our major uh, civic events here in the state of Florida, not only with uh, the inaugurations, uh, also our National Guard conference that we hold every year. And they do a tremendous job and they are the epitome of professionals in the Army profession. And they are um, quite adept at their mission. And recently they got to go down to the Caribbean and uh, the salsa band out of the band uh, got to go down to perform down there for the ambassadors uh, for those countries that are down there. So they are well known throughout the United States as the 13th Army Band as being that professional organization for that morale, uplifting welfare uh, for us. And as the brigade commander, uh, it speaks volumes to their professionalism and makes me whelm with pride.
Thank <laughs> you.